Hey guys, so I'll show you how to do an internal crouch adjustment on a Suzuki Inazuma <clears throat> 250, 2013 model, I believe. Uh, yeah, um, so the first thing you do is loosen the barrel adjust and then and turn it clockwise in all the way as much as possible so you can get as much slack as possible on the lever as you can see and then the second part is to do the same on the engine adjustment um, side so um, yeah this is a a 10 and a 12 millimeter spanner you need for this section um, yeah so basically you want to get as much slack as possible for the cable and meanwhile I'll let you I'll tell you why you may want to do this adjustment uh, your biting point might um, move move uh, forward or really out in the lever so when you're barely letting go of the lever you, that's when you get the like when you're right at the end of the play that's when you um, uh, get the biting point on the on the bike so if you have small hands for example it will be extra difficult for you to like control the bike because uh, the biting point will be all the way out um, so this is kind of an indicator and also the the lever becomes very floppy that's what people have claimed when um, they get this sort of uh, problem so um, and actually the once this issue occurs as well no adjustment from the barrel or the engine side can um, solve it you you have to go into the engine at this point Suzuki's manual gives you the instructions but it doesn't tell you how often you need to do this I don't think so um, you're probably gonna have to do this at some point hence why they have it in the adjustment section so to get the clutch um, cover off you need the eight millimeter socket and uh, yeah you just need to take all the bolts off some may be corroded which I'll show you later because um, the lower ones get road salt and uh, stuff you see here I'm using a ring spanner uh, you don't actually have to use a ring spanner you can just take the extension off and the socket should be fine uh, I was just not really using my head at that time here, here's the corrosion you can see on one of the bolts it's pretty bad and yet some of the other bolts look pristine so uh, yeah there's some sections where certain bolts for some reason reason corrode a lot more the lower ones obviously there's one or two of the, of the lower section that do corrode more and yeah you might want to put an oil patch under this I had this bike on the side stand and I from my experience no oil basically no oil comes out if you do it on the side stand and you don't have to drain the oil like the manual says but um, just in case you can put one see as, as you can see look, there's no oil coming out basically so um, yeah it's just good to have a catch just in case and I don't know why Suzuki don't recommend just doing it on the side stand but uh, yeah the manual just tells you to um, drain it instead uh, yeah, that, so that's the clutch uh, side, the case, um, and I'll be showing you the screw adjustment now. So you can see the nut in the middle of the clutch um, basket, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's a nut there, a lock nut, and the screw in the uh, on the shaft, and uh, a square sort of shaft. I'm not sure what to call it, but. Um, I think the manual wants you to put the screw and the 10 millimeter socket so so as you can see when I spin it the shaft spins as well um, so you can't really loosen uh, the lock nut easily uh, on its own you need to hold the screw but you can see I'm using a lot of effort here and it's not loosening uh, I think that's what the manual expects you to do but I nearly stripped the screw doing this last time so um, uh, I worked out this method using this um, tool uh, yeah it's a engineer something I'll put it in the description but it's a low profile um, crescent wrench I believe um, with that on you can see I used quite a bit of power here to get this off see it was um I don't know how Suzuki expected to loosen that without this method 
uh, so I put the crescent wrench on the square shaft at the back and the the, te the 10 millimeter on the lock nut, obviously. Um, that's the only way I can do it without stripping things on the screw. And this is talk to spec, so again, I don't know how Suzuki really expect you to do it. Um, I'm using a JIS sort of multi bit, by the way, so it seems to have the best fit on the screw. Um, I don't want to risk stripping it anymore, so um, I think that's what it's specified to use. So yeah, you can see to do this, I'm, I hold the, the shaft with the, the same crescent wrench and adjustable spanner. And um, yeah, you twist all the way until it stops moving. And then uh, you rotate it anti-clockwise one full turn. Um, so it's a bit tricky, but you can do it like this. Yeah. And then now you have to carefully tighten the lock nut without, without the square shaft moving. Um, yeah, so you can see it moves a tiny bit here. I actually redid this and I used my chin on the screw and then I had my two hands free to do the hold the shaft and lock lock this slightly like this. Um, uh, so, so it didn't move at all, but uh, yeah, I don't know what the correct way they expect you to do this is, but that's how it is. And now I'm using a torque wrench to get the 5.5 newton meters on the lock nut because and yeah I'm using a 90 degree adapter so um, uh, I can see the screw if it moves or not um, you could probably just get away with using a socket at this point because it's tight enough I think that it won't move but yeah 5.5 um, newton meters which is, it was already actually didn't even move so I may have over tightened it in theory but um, you want this tight because or to, to spec at least because people have had that come loose and their clutch is going to floppy during the ride. Here's the dowels you to make sure they're in the casing still. And yeah, so I reuse this gasket uh, like twice or something. Um, I have a spare one, but if I can reuse this because I'm cheap, I'm going to just carry on reusing it. It's a cheap commuter. You can see Suzuki applied some silicone in places from the factory. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, there's some silicone still there. So you just locate the dowels and uh, you fit the case. So the tightening torque for the bolts is 10 newton meters um, around the clutch cover. So now we just go through them all. Um, it doesn't tell you anything in the manual about orient like orientation or, or sorry the direction of tightening or anything it just um says tighten them to 10 newton meters so but i crisscrossed them anyway just because just in case it means something and i marked each bolt that i tightened so i know i tightened it um and you can double check it after again as well on all the bolts just to be safe So now you can see the clutch is a lot less, obviously a lot, lot less wobbly. I adjusted the engine side and Suzuki say turn the barrel adjuster out three times when you adjust the engine side. So I did that, it's all like tightened up. Um, you can see it was like 10 millimeters of play in the lever. It's meant to be 10 to 15, the range. And uh, now you're just properly adjusted. <laughs> 